If I'm all green, does that mean I'm lucky? Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about luck. Because I hear people talking about luck a lot. Like on St. Patrick's Day, I hear people say, you know, finding a four-leaf clover is lucky or, or that the four-leaf clover itself is lucky. Or like people say, you know, if you break a mirror, that's like seven years bad luck. Or if you walk under a ladder, that sort of thing. So if you don't know, luck has to do with something happening that is really, really, really unlikely. And usually people say you either have good luck or bad luck. So like, for example, if you find a four-leaf clover, that's pretty lucky because there's like one four-leaf clover for every 10,000 three-leaf clovers. So it's not likely that you're going to find one. That'd be like good luck or, or lucky. And unlucky or bad luck would be like sitting in your living room minding your own business and a meteorite comes and hits you in the leg. That's not very likely to happen. It did happen once, not to me, but it did happen once to somebody. That was pretty, you know, quote unquote unlucky. But the truth is that nothing can happen without God's permission. Like we can make our own choices. Like there's this verse in the Bible that pretty much says that we can throw the dice, but God's the one who decides what they come up as. So here's the thing. Luck isn't actually real. Stuff happens for a reason. And we don't always know the reason. But if something, you know, really quote unquote lucky happens to you, that wasn't luck. That was God's blessings. But even though God is in control, there are a lot of people who think that stuff happens randomly, right? Without any sort of reason. Now, the real trouble comes, the real bad stuff comes when we try to do things to make ourselves more lucky. Or like try to not do things that would make us unlucky. It's dangerously close to idolatry, like idol worship. Like the people who worshipped idols always did it in, in such a way that they were like, I'll do this thing so that you, my, you know, quote unquote God, will do this thing for me. But idols aren't real. And the one true God doesn't work that way. And I think a lot of the stuff that people say is good luck just came from like, Something good happening after they did something random. Like there might be somebody who never washes their socks after they won their first soccer game because they thought they were lucky or something. But that's not, that's not how the world works. Sometimes I think the stuff that people say is unlucky, like, like breaking a mirror or walking under a ladder, is just stuff that people made up to scare kids so that they wouldn't do that stuff. Like they might say, hey kids, quit roughhousing. Don't you know it's bad luck to break a mirror? And like, if I was up on a ladder, I wouldn't want somebody walking under the ladder. They might make me fall. Now, there are times where if you do something good, something good will happen. There's lots of times where that happens, but that's not luck. That's just like hard work and doing what you're supposed to do. And sometimes the things that we would say are bad luck aren't bad luck. It's just we weren't doing what we were supposed to do. Like if you, if you have a teacher at school who gives you pop quizzes, like, like a quiz and they don't tell you when they're going to do them and you haven't really been studying the way you've been supposed to study and your teacher says, okay, today's a pop quiz and you do really bad on it because you didn't study. That's not bad luck that you had a pop quiz that day. That's just you not doing your work and something bad happening because of it. And one of the reasons why people believe in luck, believe that stuff is just random and, and sort of crazy is because the truth is that sometimes good things happen to bad people. And sometimes bad things happen to good people. But it's really important to remember that this world is not the end, right? The truth is that we're all blessed. We're all, you know, quote unquote, lucky. Even just by being alive right now, you are blessed. The air you breathe is from God. The food you eat, that's from God too. Every good thing comes from the Lord. And every bad thing will be made right in heaven. And actually in scripture, a lot of the people that we would call unlucky, Jesus calls them blessed because this world is not the end. So my challenge to you guys today is that next time something, you know, quote unquote lucky happens to you, instead of saying, wow, I'm so lucky, thank God for it. Every good thing comes from God. It's a blessing from God. And God has a plan for everything, a good plan. So next time something, you know, quote unquote unlucky happens to you, I just want you to remember that God is in control. And if something happens to you that seems very unlucky, it could be because God's trying to teach you something. God's trying to get your attention. Or it could be it could be that maybe you did something that was not so good, or you didn't do something that you should have done. And so, you know, natural 
normal consequences come from that. And don't forget that in the Bible it says that God works all things together for the good of those who love him. So like Joseph, for example, you know, he, he had what I would call a very unlucky life. Lots of things happened to him that were, you know, seemed very bad and he didn't really do anything wrong. But because of all these bad things that happened to him, God brought about something very good. So even if something bad happens and it doesn't make sense, just know that God's in control. And that even if things don't turn out okay here on earth, they will be more than okay in heaven. When God makes all things new, he will right all wrongs. So yeah, luck isn't real. It's okay to recognize that, you know, something that was very unlikely to happen, happened. But we need to remember that God is the one who's in control. And it's very important that we not get caught up in, you know, like lucky charms and this thing is lucky or that thing is unlucky because that's not true. It goes against what God wants us to do. It's not good. It's really, really close to idolatry. And don't forget that we're all, you know, quote unquote lucky. We're all blessed. Every single day, God rains down his goodness on us. And let's definitely not forget one of the greatest blessings ever, and that is that is the gift of of Jesus Christ. The fact that Jesus died for our sins, even though we don't deserve it. Luck may not be real, but God's blessings? Yeah, those are very, very real. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. And hey, happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, I really hope that you will remember from whom all blessings flow. Every good thing comes from God. It's not because of luck, it's because God loves you. And hey, I just want to give a special shout out to my patrons. Thank you guys so much. I, I would normally say that I'm very lucky to have you as supporters, but that's that's not really what the truth is. The truth is that I'm very blessed. And hey, if you're not one of my patrons yet and you'd like to help support my YouTube channel, you and your family can go to patreon.com slash Douglas Talks to learn more. Thanks, guys.